Okay, so good day class. So for today, we'll tackle regarding measures of central tendencies and uh, uh, frequency table and relative frequency table. If we're talking about measures of central tendencies, okay, we're referring to the mean, okay, median and mode. If we're talking about mean, uh, we're just simply asked to get the average. If we're talking about median, we're, we're simply asked what is the central value after you arrange a series of data from the lowest to the highest or, or vice versa. And on the other hand, okay, we're talking about mode, we just simply ask okay, uh, what datum or data uh, that, that is or that are appearing most frequently. No? That is more than once. Uh, again, I give emphasis, uh, emphasis on that. It should be more than once. If the series of data, okay, tagi isa isa lang, so la tayo dapat don mode. Okay? So shall we start? Now, I prepared this example. Okay? For example, if we work in, in the uh, quality control, okay? For example, the, uh, the product is this uh, form, no? Uh, now, example, okay? Uh, the, the company is used uh, in uh, using the uh, the uh, called this one systematic uh, random sampling. Okay, for example, in every hour you need to go to the uh, the factory okay, to get sample. For example, you get ten samples, and you investigate and you inspect if there are some uh, defects or the rejects. No? So let's say let, let's assume that the defects of this form they may be blemishes. Okay. There are misprinted, okay. Uh, uh, maybe the uh, there are letters that is not uh, there, okay. Or uh, ano ba? Nag ink blot, okay. Nag nag blot yung ink, okay. So for example, so first hour, okay, you go to the uh, the uh, factory, you get ten samples, okay. Out of the ten samples, okay, you you you, you have seen two defects no? or two rejects maybe blemishes or misprint okay so two means defects okay another hour okay you go again to the factory okay you pick 10 samples okay, okay you observe there are four okay rejects no it's on four then another hour okay you get 10 samples okay you observe made the dalawang defect and so on and so forth so this is the meaning of your series of data. Okay. Now, I advise to please count first the series of data. Okay. That is denoted by small small n. N. Okay. Automatic man Okay. Uh, capital N denotes population. Small n denotes sample size. So n, let's count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the number of your data is seven, okay, or seven hours, okay. Now, for the first requirement, you are asked to solve for the mean or the average, okay. To get the average first, okay, uh, you get the, the total of all of your data. So using your calculator class, please bring out your calculator. Two plus four plus two plus four plus 5, plus 9, plus 3. Okay. That will give you 29. Okay. Or 29 defects. No? Divided by the number of your data, 7. Okay. Get the quotient. That will give us the average of, or the mean, 4.14. Okay. Rejects. No? This box, or encircle your final answer. Okay. I will just underline or put maybe a star okay, to rep. I'm going to, to distinguish that is your final answer. Okay. Now, next. Next record is the median. So, again, median is the central value in the series of data. But you need to arrange first from the lowest to the highest. Okay. So, let us arrange first from the lowest to the highest. So, we have two, two. Okay, we have three and four, okay, four and five, 
and nine. Okay, let's count again. No, two, four, six, seven. Okay, that's right. So after that, you locate the central value. In this case, okay, it's not difficult because seven lang naman, no? Use ah, matamata, matamata na na method. It's ah, umaga klaro that it should be four, okay? That's a fourth na value. Plus, I suggest, okay, to use this formula. Okay, what if marami na masyado yung series of data? Mahirapan na tayo, no? Okay, seven, okay lang. Pag marami na masyado, okay, mahirap na. Okay, so, if n is odd, what is odd number? So, talking about, okay, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, okay, 13, 15. That's odd number. Uh, otherwise, okay, if that is not uh, odd, it's even. No? We're talking about 2, 4, 6, 8. That's even number. 7 is odd, no? Or n is odd. So, please use the formula. Okay, this formula. Okay, let's apply the formula. It says there that you need to okay, divide your n, which is 7, okay? okay? First, you add 1. That is a constant, no? And after that, you divide it by 2. Okay? That gives us, okay, uh, 8 divided by 2 to give us 4, no? It says here, th, nth, no? Kung 3 third. It tells us where, okay, location after arranging from the lowest to the highest. So it means to say, it's a fourth no value. Again, after you arrange from the lowest to the highest, no? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, our median is 4, okay, in this case, defects, okay? Nagkataon lang that 4, fourth, okay, 4, okay? But hindi ganun palagi, no? Let's count, no? Okay, what if this is 3? So, it means to be in a like fourth value mo 3, okay? Instead of 4 here, 3 ito, it means in the median mo is 3. Nagkataon lang na fourth, 4, no? But hindi ganun palagi, okay? Next. Okay, that's the final answer. Okay, we're done. Now, next the mode. Okay, mode is the most frequently appearing data. Okay, uh, dapat it's, it should be more than once. No? More than once siya nag-appear. So, wala siyang formula. There's no formula. Let's just uh, look at the series of data. In this case, kay ang 2, kay dalawa, then 4, dalawa din. Okay, tama ba? 2 at saka 4, dalawa. The rest ay isa-isa. Ibig sabihin, there are 2 modes here. Okay, 2 and 4. 2 defects and four defects, okay? Now, in the case, for example, okay, we'll put example na lang here. Example, uh, example one, okay, B, no? This one is A. It's just a data, for example, two, then four, tapos five, tapos uh, six, tapos one, okay? So, in the, the series of data given, okay, pag isa-isa lang siya, so walang more than one, okay, tag one, tag ones lang sila nag-appear. So, in short, okay, mode here, okay, is no mode, okay. If your answer is zero, that is wrong. Ibig sabihin zero is your mode, no? Ibig sabihin pwede siya mag-appear dito as zero, okay. Zero means something, something. For example, okay, pagpunta mo doon sa sa factory, kumuha ka ng sample uh, na 10, okay, wala, 0. Okay? So, may meaning yung 0. Kaya kapag nilagay yung mode dyan 0, that is wrong. Kapag nakalagay yung word na no mode. Okay, next. The second example, okay, what if the number of your n is even? In this case, let's count. No? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, therefore, okay, small n is... Okay, that's even. Okay, we're talking about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, no? and so on and so forth. Now, mean, okay, let's solve for mean. We're just simply asked to get the average. Okay, first, using your calculator, okay, 2 
plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 9 plus uh, I forgot 3. Tama ba? I know. Plus 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 5. Okay? The total is 52. Nagurado lang tayo ka sa 2 plus uh, 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 5. Nawawala na ng battery. Okay. Okay, the answer total is 52. It divides the number of your data, which is 10. Okay, so the answer is 5.2, no? That is your final answer. This box or in circle your final answer. Okay, 5.2 defects. Median, so again, the central location or central value. First, arrange from the lowest to the highest. Okay, we have 2, 2, labang 2, dalawa lang, no? then followed by 3. Then we have lang 4, at dalawa, 4, 4. Okay, we have dalawang 5, and we have 3 na 9, no? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 pa rin. So, sa median, okay, I suggest to use this uh, formula. Okay, I, know, I know class that you can solve that mentally or matamata, but for in the case that marami na masyado, I suggest to use this formula. Okay? So, kapag even, dalawa yung possible na central value. But, isa lang dapat siya. So, in short, we need to get the average of the two values. No? So, matamata tayo. One, okay? Uh, nasa, gitna siya, nasa gitna yung okay? yung 4 at 5. No? So, you get the average of 4 at 5. That is 9 divided by 2. That will give us 4.5. Okay? Dapat yung answer natin dito, 4.5. Now, using the formula, okay, n is equal to 10 here. Okay, 10 divided by 2, that will give us the fifth value, okay? okay plus, okay, that is, okay, 10 divided by 2, okay, we add natin, mag plus 1 tayo, that's constant. It's part of our formula. Because if you have your other formula, you may use that one, no? But... Ito na lang gamitin natin. Okay? So, after that, you need to divide that sa 2. Okay? Can I use na lang this parenthesis kasi hirapan ako gumawa ng formula dito sa word. So, it's 2. Okay? So, let's answer. That is 5, no? We're talking about 5th value. Plus, okay? 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 plus 1, 6th value. Divide sa 2. Okay, don't forget to close that with parentheses kasi baka yung ika-6 lang yung ma-divide sa 2. Okay? So, after nyan, okay, you locate the fifth value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 4. This is not a the location anymore. It's the true value plus okay, the sixth value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. Get the, uh, the summation of these two values. Divided by 2, right? Because we get we need to get the average. No? So that is okay, 9 divided by 2 using your calculator. Okay, that will give us 4.5 okay, defects. So therefore, this is your median. Okay, please uh, box or insert your final answer. Okay, so I hope you understood. Okay, mode, there's no formula. Just look at your series of data. Okay. Ano yung most appearing na data? Okay. Uh, ito, mal malinaw dito, no? Two. Dalawa. Dalawang twos. Okay. Dalawang fours. 
dalawang fives, three na nine. So, it's very clear that your answer must be nine. So, nine deflex. Okay? We're done with using the uh, the manual method. Now, I will, this uh, this method is a sort of for checking purpose only. So, I will be opening Excel file here to answer all of our uh, problems. So, problem one and two. Okay, so first, okay, we need to verify if the answer is 4.14, okay, if the answer is 4, okay, the answer is no mode using your Excel. So I copy paste example number one, okay, here. I will enlarge. Okay, so using the Excel, again, plus this is for checking purpose only, 2, then 4, 2. 4, 5, 9, then 3. Okay. Again, our answer again for the, the mean, okay, 4.14. Then median, 4, then no mode. Okay. Wait lang. Okay, the answer for here pala for the mode is 2 and 4. Okay, sorry ah. Kasi other example na pala itong no mode. No? But we'll try also this one. So no mode ba talaga siya sa exit? Okay, so ito yung ating example 1B. Okay, this is 1A. Okay, so let's answer using the Excel mean or the average. Okay, let's uh, type or press equal, then type AV. Okay, magsasuggest yung ating Excel. Okay, you click the average. Okay, click. Then after clicking that, you go to the first datum. Okay, you click the first datum. Okay. Uh, using the uh, left button, then you hold, okay, you drag to sa pinakalas na day two, okay, or last cell, then press enter key. So, as you can see, okay, our answer is the same as 4.14, okay, 4.14, okay, automatically. Now, for the median, press equal sign, okay, then ME. Okay, magsasuggest na median. You click that command. Okay, just be careful lang sa pag-click, no? Okay. Next, go to the first datum. Press the left, left button. Then drag, okay, hold. Drag natin pababa. Enter. The answer is 4. You all know the answer kanina is 4, no? Okay. How about the mode? Mode. Okay, uh, the problem with Excel means that kasi parang ano ba? Isa lang binibigay niya. Okay, mode. Okay, let's try, no? Mode here. And I try this multi. Kung first, uh, click the first datum, then hold the left key, uh, left button, I mean. Then, okay, the answer is 2. Then I try another one. Kasi dalawa eh. Mode. Okay, pwede dito mode sa pinakaibaba, no? But anyways, this is for checking purpose only, no? Okay. Talaga. Okay, uh, the answer here should be uh, 2 and 4, no? Bagay, eh, parang yung Excel, parang uh, kung ano lang yung una niyang mais, ma, ano ba, ma malagay, yun ang nilalagay niya. I I'm sure kapag nag-click ako ng click dito, for example, this one. Okay, click ako ulit. Multi tayo. Hey, what is smooth? Multi. Vertical arrow was because you turn to fit the values in array of data for example, transpose, okay. Okay, mali pala itong mode natin. Ito pala itong mode, okay. Sorry, ah. Okay. Ito mode lang, mode. There, no? Ba't mag-appear yung si 4, eh? Okay. Highlight, tapos enter. Mode. Pag-appear si 4. So, yun 
hindi. Okay. I, ano mano yun na lang. Sa problem mo sa na Excel ba? Okay, hindi talaga mag si Ford. Okay, so, again, class, kapag ganito, okay, kali uh, do it manually. Okay, it should be 2 and 4, no? 2 and 4. Okay, that should be the answer. Kasi pareho sila nag-appear ng twice yung 2 at saka 4, eh. Okay? Okay, we're done with the Excel na portion. Okay, next. Okay, using this, okay, mode, mode natin dito sa second natin example for number 1 is no mode, no? So, We'll put here 2, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 1, okay? Using the Excel, okay, equals, okay, ito na i-press natin plus sa itong mode na ito. Pag marami more than 1, then i-matamatahin na lang, matamata na lang, no? Then, input. Okay. Uh, para maglabas yung 4 kanina, okay? I just, uh, balikan ko lang sa Friday. Okay? Baka ma-recall ko, we need to do something with this formula. It's more on... More in command. Okay, kapag ganito, yung second sample na, dapat no mode siya. Okay? Kung no mode siya, answer sa Excel is, okay, not applicable. Okay? Ibig sabihin, no mode, no? Kasi, pagkada isa sila nag-appear. Okay? So, we're done with number one. And number two, okay? Number two here, so copy paste. Itandaan, the answer is 5.2 at saka 5.2 Tapos, uh, 4.5. Then, mode natin 9. Okay? Now, 2. Then, 4. 2. Then, 4. Then, 5. Then, 9. Then, 3. Then, 9. Then, 5. Dalawang 9. Then, 5. No? Let's count. Okay, 10 dapat. No? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? For the mean or the average, okay, press equal, then average, okay? You click the average, no? uh, the uh, formula average, the command. You click the first datum or the first, say, uh, first cell, okay? You hold the uh, left key, you drag that down. Okay, dapat answer 5.2, no? Okay? The answer is 5.2 here, no? Next, for the median, our answer doon kanina is uh, 4.5, okay? It's command median. Okay, you click the command, okay? You highlight all the uh, series of data, then press enter, okay, 4.5. And mode, okay, our mode kanina is 9, no? Equal, then mode, Okay? Itong kiklik natin yung pinakalas. Again, balikan ko lang Friday class. Kaya dapat mag-appear kanina yung 2 at saka 4. Hindi mo nakalimutan lang ako na gagawin. Then enter. Okay? So the answer is 9. It's the same with the manual method. Again, uh, the purpose of our Excel is for checking purpose only. No? Please do not use uh, automatic, uh, directly the Excel method. Now, let's proceed with the uh, frequency table. Now, I will use this data okay, para for the frequency table. No? So, for example, I tally. Okay, ako yung nag-research ako. This, these are the, my data. No? 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, 9, 3, 9, 9, 5. Okay? So, for example, these are, instead of defects, I will assume this is scores. Okay? Ano yung scores na nag -appear? We have 2. Okay? We have 3 also. We have 5. We have 9 kagad, okay? 9. Pag tinatali natin ito, okay, can you remember? Okay, tinatali. Ilang 2 nag-appear sa data? In short, ilang sudyante yung nakakuha ng 2? Okay, for example, this over 10 na score na, na, na quiz, no? Sinabi natin, dalawang sudyante. Okay, let's count. Kasi dalawa yung nag-appear yung 2 dito. So, there are students na nakakuha ng 2 na scores, okay? Yung pagtali. Next, ilang sudyante nakakuha ng 3? Okay, isa lang, okay? 1. Ilan yung, and nakuha ng 5, 2. Okay, dalawa. 5, okay. 9, ilan nakuha ng 9? Tatlo. Tatlong sticks, okay. Ang frequency, 
just need to count the sticks, no? Two. Count the sticks. Okay. One stick. Two sticks. Then three sticks. Okay? Now, check if our frequency or pagtali natin tama. Dapat mag-equal dun sa number of kung ilan yung data. In this case, nag-assume tayo sa dyan na take ng 10 points na quiz. Ito yung ating scores, okay? So, let's, uh, using the calculator, please add. Okay? That's 2 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, that will give us, okay, 8 lang. Tama ba? Para may kulang ata ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, balikan lang natin ng kulang dito. Okay, yung 5 pala nat. Uh, dalawang 2, tama. Uh, kulang ng 4. Okay? Kulang ng 4. Kulang ng 4. Okay, see? Kapag check natin, mali na siya kaagad. Kasi may mali tayo dun sa ating ginawa, no? So, 4, kulang ng 4. Ilan na kuha ng 4? Dalawa. Okay? Dalawang sudyante. Okay? 2 sticks. So, 2. So, using calculator again, I'm sure this is equal to 10 na. Okay? So, tama na yung ating pagtali. This is called the frequency table. Okay? Again, this is called frequency table. Now, if you're asked for the cumulative frequency table, okay? This cumulative. This is, okay? This is correct spelling. Kasi kahit i-google nyo pa. This is the correct spelling of cumulative. This, uh, kumbaga just uh, relate to the term accumulation, okay? Ina-accumulate niya. Cumulative F or frequency. Okay? The first row, i-accumulate niyang first rows in terms of frequency, 2. Second row, yung first na 2 rows, okay? 2 plus 1, 3. Third row, first 3 accumulate niya. 2 plus 1 plus 2, 5. Then, fourth row, yung 4 na rows, 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4, that will give us 7. And, ika fifth, I think this is the last one, i-accumulate niya lahat ng rows. No? 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 will give us 10. You always remember, yung pinakalas na cumulative frequency must be equal to your total frequency. Okay? So, this is called the cumulative frequency table. Now, next. This is called the relative frequency, okay? So, when we are talking about relative frequency, okay, just think of proportion, no? It's a ratio comparing to the total, okay? So, dapat saan tayo titingin? Frequency pa rin, okay? We will not look at the cumulative kasi ang nakalagay dito sa ating column na ito is the rel relative frequency, okay? So, we're talking about relative frequency, divide always sa total, in this case, okay, relative frequency tayo 2 divided by okay, 10. 0.2. Okay. Next, okay, 1. Frequency natin dito 1 divided sa, sa total. 0.1. Then 2 divided by 10. Okay, 0.2. Then 2 divided by 10. So it was 0.2. And 3 divided by 10. So in Excel class, uh, you need to put equal sign. But anyways, okay, this is for checking purpose only. Okay, uh, I suggest, I strongly suggest you to to solve this manually. Now, to check if the relative frequency is correct, you always get the summation. Dapat equal dapat siya sa 100% or 1.0. So let's check. No? 2, okay, this 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0 0.3, that will give us 1.0, which is correct. Okay? 100%. Now, the last column is the cumulative frequency. Cumulative relative frequency, I mean. Uh, uh, it should be relative. Okay? Relative means ratio no? in, in relation to your uh, total. But relative okay? relative cumulative frequency, okay? That's the last uh, column, okay? Okay, so we will, uh, there you have two options here, no? Remember when I say cumulative, okay? It will accumulate, no? It should be cumulative first, then follow the relative no word. Okay. 
So first row, 0.2. Again, cumulative, no, accumulation. For our second row, first two rows, okay, i-add natin, 0.3. 0.2 plus 0.1 will give us 0.3. The next will be uh, the third okay, row. You add the first three. 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.2 will give us 0.5. And the fourth is the first four rows you add, okay, 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.2 will give us 0.7. And the last row, or the fifth row, will uh, tells uh, will, will uh, instruct us to add all the the uh, the rows, no, in, in relation to your column ng relative frequency. So, dapat always yung pinaka last natin the same with the cumulative frequency. Okay, ang cumulative frequency dapat total niya is yung total ng frequency yung pinaka last dito. Ang cumulative relative frequency, yung pinakalas dito yung total na relative frequency which is equal to 1.0. Okay? Which is correct, no? Now, I told you you have other option. Okay? The other option is to, okay, you go to the uh, cumulative uh, frequency. Okay? This one. Then you divide it by 10. Okay, for example, 2 divided by 10 will give us 0.2. Then 3 divided by 10 will give us 0.3. 5 divided by 10 will give us 0.5. 7 divided by 10 will give us 0.7. 10 divided by 10 will give us 1.0. Okay? That's another option. Now, sa inyo si tour class, okay, I gave only, okay, for example, this one. No? Uh, I'll copy-paste. Huh? Okay. Only two columns are given. Then I ask you to solve for the mean uh, mean. Medi median in mode. Okay? I just want you to understand the concept, no? Okay, maybe some of you, okay, balik dito. Remember, this data, okay, came from this series of data, okay? So, it makes sabihin that 2 appears twice, okay? Frequency niya 2, eh. 3, score ng 3 appears once, okay? okay? Frequency. Ang 4 appear twice then. And, and also the 5, no, twice. And yung score number 9 appears thrice, three times, okay? Now, how to solve for the mean, median, at saka mode kung ito lang gamit? Basta inyo, sir, I will uh, enumerate again. So I will uh, do this. Type lang natin yung, ano, yung required. I will do this, sir. Okay, 2. Twice na, sir. 2. And ang 3 once, 3. Then, ang 4, twice then. 2, ah, 4. Then, ang 5, twice. Okay. Dalawang beses. At saka yung 9, 3. Okay, wala ka ng problema to solve for the mean, medium, at saka mode. Okay? But I think that's, that's, uh, kumbaga, may, pag we're involved, for example, 100 na tayo, I think that's not practical anymore. So, we need to do something. Okay? para makuha natin pa rin itong 5.2, 4.5, okay, 9, na hindi gamit itong method na ito. Okay, only this two columns, okay? So, in solving this one, okay, ang gagawin natin for the mean, or the average, so we need to get what first? Okay, we need to multiply the frequency okay, times okay, the scores. In short, we're just adding the, uh, uh, ito, lagay ko na lang dito, ha? The product. Okay. So we need to multiply. Huwag na lang ganyan. Ah, dapat ganito hindi ko talaga para maingan nyo kung may calculator. No? So that is 4. 1. Uh, so 3 times 1 will give 3. Then 4 times 2 will give us the to put equal sign. No? 8. Then At hindi dapat yan. It should be 5 times 2. Kasi we're doing this manual, no? The 9 times 3 will give us 27. should be 27, okay? Then after that, you need to get the total, the sum of your product, okay? You add, okay, 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 10 plus 27. It should be 52, okay? Use your calculator. Okay, 52. Okay? To get the get the mean, okay, total, 52, divided by number of frequency. 
again, I give emphasis on this this given. Dito lang tayo nagbase, no? But still, we arrive with the same solution. Uh, we answer, answer I mean, okay? Pareho. I hope that's understood, plus, no? Okay, next. To get the median, okay, yung central value, we all know itong ating table of frequency natin is naka-arrange from the lowest to the highest. So, ang gagawin lang natin is to locate uh, what, okay, uh, first, we need to get the, what's the, what's, what is the number of N, no? Ilang, ilan yung ating data. In this case, it's very obvious 10. It's even. Okay? So, I want you to go practice, uh, ano baga, visualizing. No? Sa isip lang natin. Uh, o, no, baga, practice, uh, imagine natin. 10 yung N natin. Because applying the formula, that will give us still the, uh, the uh, anong anong nga, yung location yun? Kapag, uh, that's 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 the fifth location, and five divided by two plus one will give us six location. Okay? Ibig sabihin na sa five, tsaka six siya. Now, punta tayo sa table. Okay? Twice nag-appear yung two. Ibig sabihin, ika-second lang siya. Tama ba? Twice nag-appear yung two. Two, two. Second pa rin yung two. The next is, okay, may isang three nag-appear. So, ika-third sa three. Again, I, I'm, I'm suggesting to please Okay, uh, visualize or imagine, no? Okay, ka third natin is 3 pa rin. Na pagdating dito, dalawang best nag-appear yung 4. Okay, so 4, 4. Okay, ibig sabihin na doon sa 5th si 4. Okay, 5th si 4. Tama? Then dalawang best nag-appear si 5. So, 6th, 5. Okay, first kailangan natin kunin o isob mo na kung saan location. Okay? Nag-agree na tayo lahat. It's 5th at saka 6th. Okay? Using the, the table, imagine natin. Let's visualize. Dalawang best, best nag-appear si 2. 2, 2. Second. Ika 3rd, 3. Ika 4th, 4. Ika 5th, 4. So, nandun yung 5th. 4 ang 5th dapat. Ika 6th. Okay? 5. Ibig sabihin, yung mode, yung media natin, okay, nasa gitna ng 4 value, ha? At saka fifth na value. I'm not talking about the location anymore. I'm talking about the true value, okay? So, since dalawa yung values natin, we need to divide that sa 2 okay, to get the average. So, the answer is 4.5 pa rin. Now, sa mode, itong pinakamadali sa table, no? Kapag mode. Yung pinakamarami dito, yung pinakamalaki sa frequency, automatically, that's your mode. Remember, frequency means gaano kadalas nag-appear yung data, okay? So, pinakamalaking frequency, yun yung pinakamadalas, okay? So, in short, Ano ba yung tatlo nag-appear? Nine. Okay? So you can see pareho yung answer natin dito. Using only this table at saka itong raw na data here. Okay? So you can answer na yung C-twerk, no? Now, the next natin na gagawin, what if ang given ko lang is the scores? Okay, copy-paste this one, ha? At saka itong relative frequency. Okay? Dalawa lang yung given. Now, I'm sure, class, you, you can still answer. You know why? Because this, this value came from your raw data. So, ang gagawin lang natin, you need to analyze no, the ways or methods to, to answer the required. Now, it, it is up to you how will you go back with this frequency table. Kasi man na-explain na ba natin kung paano ito sobang mean, medium, tsaka mode using the frequency table. Okay. Tap to you out, go back ba, or mayroon pang other way, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is my suggestion, no? Now, uh, relative frequency, tingnan natin in in, uh, in decimal, then translated into fraction, okay? Yun ang suggestion ko. I fraction natin, ha? 0.2 is equal to ilan man. That is 2 divided by 10. Tama? I'll just put asterisk na lang siguro para hindi malito siya. Asterisk eh, 0.10 or that is uh, rather 2 tenths. No? 
2 divided by 10. Okay? 0.1, 1 divided by 10. Paano ko nalaman divide 10? Kasi nasa 10th place siya eh. Okay? Kapag meron pang des dalawang decimal, that's 100 places sa class. Kapag tatlo yung decimal, that is thousands uh, na place. No? In this case, okay, nasa 10th place siya, uh, eh, divide talaga siya sa 10 always. Okay? And this one, 2, the same. Okay, 10. And last. Okay? Now, karoon ka ng ganito. Diba klaro na kung ano yung gidivide natin? Remember, yung gidivide natin dito is the total okay, frequency. It big sabihin, we can go back with this column. Tama? Okay. Paano, sir? Kopyahin ko na lang ito. Okay, kasi na lang. Copy. Actually, i-rewrite ko lang yung Ito, ito. I-re-write ko lang yun. Para, para mas klaro. Okay. Gagawin natin. Frequency tayo. I only the total is 10. Okay. 10 yung total. Nakalagay yung 10 dyan. Okay. Yung numerator is actually a frequency. Tama ba? 2. Okay. Numerator frequency. 1. 2. 2. 3. You try to add all. It should be 10, no? Which is 10. So since na, na bumalik na tayo dito, I think there's no need to elaborate further because nandito na tayo. And we already answered this one. Mean, medium, tsaka mode. Okay? I hope na, 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 na naintindihan plus, no? Kapag nandito na tayo, explain ko naman ito how to get mean, tsaka medium, tsaka mode. Balikan, balikan nyo na lang yung video, no? Now, may other way pa. is okay, another way, no? Ang gagawin natin, Okay, it's up to you. Kung mas long as tama yung answer natin dito, alam naman na answer natin dito, which is dapat 5.2, 4.5, tsaka 9. Pwede natin gawin dito, okay? Remember, I, oh, this, these two columns are given, no? Multiply natin, okay? 2 times 0.2, okay? Ito yung answer. Okay, I will just uh, go to this uh, cell, okay? Hintayin ko mag-change yung cursor, yung solid na cross. I will click the right, ma uh, the left mouse, okay? Ibig sabihin, you, I mean, I'm instructing the, the Excel to copy the formula. Okay? Press the left button. Okay? Hold. You drag pababa. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, that's the uh, the product of the first two columns. Okay? 3 times 0.1 will be 0.3. Okay? 4 times 0.2 will be 0.8. And so on and so forth. Okay? If you get the, the, the summation, okay? we'll click the auto sum dito sa taas. Okay? It's 5.2. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the sum of the products of these two columns, okay, kapag relative frequency to class, it's not uh, uh, applicable sa lahat ng uh, scenario. Ha? This is true only relative, relative frequency. 5.2. Okay? This is the answer. Okay? A median, okay, using this one, actually, it should be the highest okay, relative frequency pa rin. In this case, it should be, ano, mode pala. Okay? Unahin mo ito yung mode. Uh, mode should be the highest relative frequency. Frequency pa rin yan class, no? It should be 0.3, okay? Yung pinaka-highest, no? Which is equivalent yan 9. Ang median, balik pa rin tayo doon sinabi ko kanina, okay? You just treat this one as, kung baga, uh, kung i-add natin, okay, 1, no? Tama ba? If you add all this to 1, you apply 1 is, uh, kung baga, divide natin sa 2, uh, sa 2 para makita natin yung central value that will give us 0.5, okay? Big sabihin, Okay, ano ba ibig ng 0.5 doon? Is that the uh, the location? Okay. So, balik pa rin tayo sinabi ko doon kanina that, okay, kapag ganun, because 1 is, is, is add na eh. Okay. I suggest na lang class, okay, in terms of median, you go back with this frequency table. Okay. Explain ko naman sa inyo paano itong frequency table eh, from this relative frequency. Kasi mas mahirapan tayo kapag magdiresto tayo dito sa relative frequency. There's a way, no? Pero... Uh, wag na lang yung, hindi ko na lang explain. Explain ko na lang natin. Okay, from this, okay, explain ko na, we can go back with this. Okay? So, median pa rin dapat dyan is 4.5. Okay, so we're done. Okay, let's stop the, uh, the recording.
So I hope you can answer all these at work.